welcome back to my canal. So for today's video, I have a eyeshadow tutorial for you guys. I did not film the face because we all know it's the same thing. <laughs> same products that I've always used. I wanted to mainly focus on the eyeshadow today because I'm playing with a new palette. Um, well, I think it's been around already for a while, but it's new to me. It's the Morphe 18T Truth or Bear eyeshadow palette. Now, before we do get started, you guys, I want to jump on here really quick. Um, if you want to skip this, you can definitely go straight to the tutorial and I will stamp the time here for you. Um, so definitely go and skip this if you don't want to hear it. Um, so really quick with the Glam Fam, 330 code that I get from Morphe. Now it is a temporary code. Um, I do not get paid for this. I am part of the Glam Fam program with Morphe. Um, and then this code, um, it like when they send me a PR package, it's on. And then after a while, like they take the code away until they send me a new PR package and then it's on again. So just an FYI, this code is not permanent. I don't get paid for it. Hopefully one day, si Dios quiere, I'm able to have a permanent code that I can um, give to you guys and it will always work all the time, guaranteed. But for now, just really quick because everybody always, you know, sends me DMs and they're like, girl, your code's not working anymore. And I'm like, yes, I was new to the Glam Fam and I didn't know this, um, but now I know. And it's also linked in the uh, my little description box all the way at the bottom where I have all my codes. Um, I always have a little disclaimer there so it's not permanent <laughs> so just an FYI again the glam fam 330 code you guys takes five dollars off any ten dollar purchase or more you cannot use it on new items that just came out or anything that's already discounted so now that I said that um, and we're clear um, I do want to apologize if any of you guys have used it and you were embarrassed if you use it in stores or even online and it wasn't working now you know why. I don't know why Morphe does this, um, but I, you know, they do give us a code to use and you still get $5 off. Um, so use it when you can. Right now I just checked and you can use it. Um, so I have it linked down below um, if you guys want to just copy and paste it um, when, you're, when you're getting ready to check out. But I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. All right, so here we have the palette, you guys. This is the 18T Truth or Bear Artistry Palette by Morphe. The first shade that I'm gonna go into using my Morphe M433 brush, I'm gonna go into the shade called Reveal. It's a nice matte shade, and it kind of reminds me of cinnamon. Um, so it's like a nice dark brown, not really dark brown, but like a cinnamon color. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna place this right in the crease and then work it towards the outer and inner corner. But just mainly focusing this mainly in the crease area because then we're gonna start to blend out the edges. It's really weird because in the pan, it looks really cinnamon like the color, but on me, it kind of looks like a dark brown, right? Or am I tripping? Um, but either way, I'm gonna go ahead and just place the shade first, um, and then you wanna just buff it in and out. Um, and then with whatever you have left on your brush, you guys start to buff it up going upwards um, to start to diffuse those edges so that once we go into this shade called Candid, um, it just blends in really, really nicely um, into that shade that we first placed. Now Candid is a nice matte, like earthy, corally color. Um, which I thought was perfect to blend out the edges of the shade called Reveal. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what I'm doing, you guys. Just blending both of these together until I'm completely satisfied with how I have the blending. Um, and yeah, just blend away. And then at this point, you guys, I do keep going back and forth into Reveal and Candid just to intensify the eye a little bit more. You can totally stop here and then move forward, but I like to intensify my eyeshadows a little bit more. And then with the shade called Reveal, I do take it into the inner corner as well as towards the outer corner of my eye, leaving a negative space right in the middle because we are kind of creating like a halo eye for today's eyeshadow look. Um, so take your time, you guys. Blend, um, blend, blend, blend. This is what I normally always do when it comes to my eyeshadows. I really like to just blend everything um, until I'm completely happy with what I have and then I move forward. So be patient. <laughs> the next shade I'm going to pick up um, is a shade called Sp um, Spill It. Yeah, Spill It. Um, and this shade obviously is just a more darker brown and I'm going to place this um, in the areas where we place the shade called Reveal. So I'm going to place it in the inner and outer corner. And then I'm going to go into the shade called Full Disclosure and I'm using a clean Morphe M433 to blend out those edges and apply this under my brow bone. Um, then I'm going to go into my Urban Decay Eden Primer in a small concealer detailed brush by Morphe. Unfortunately the number is rubbed off but 
anything that you have at home that is small and precise like this will do or even my um sigma f75 if you do have that that also works but we all have our favorite concealer brush that we normally use to cut our crease um so i'm gonna be doing a halo eye like i mentioned so we're only gonna place the concealer you guys or the primer right on the center and then we're not gonna take it all the way towards the outer or inner corner because we are gonna buff that out with eyeshadow so we mainly just want to focus it in the area that I'm currently showing you guys at this very moment. And of course, for the start of the show, this is a shade called Expose, and I'm using my um, Morphe M167. This is a nice shimmery, rosy, bronzy shade, you guys. I thought it was so stunning. I was contemplating and going into this one or making it a little bit more like goldy color. So I, I was going to go into the shade called The Truth or Open Up from the palette, but I'm glad I went with this. I feel like it photographed it so beautiful. I did not use any setting spray. This is strictly directly from the pan and look how stunning this is. It's really creamy. I was really, really impressed on how well this looked. Um, and then I'm going to go into my um, Morphe S20 brush and I'm just going to go back and go in reverse and pick up the shade called Reveal and start to blend out those edges towards the inner and outer corner. Um, and this is just really going to give all the attention to the main color um, that we use, which is the shade called Expose. And then again, I'm going to go back into the shade called Spill It um, and darken up the outer and inner corner. Um, and I did switch over to my Morphe M433 to blend out the outer corner. But for the inner corner, definitely go into something more precise and really little so that way it doesn't go everywhere and it stays where you are directly placing it. Um, I'm going to go into my Urban Decay 24-7 Flight on Eye Pencil in the shade um, Demolition. It's just a nice dark brown. And we're going to run this towards the top lash line. And then going back to my Morphe S20, I'm going to be picking up, um, once again, that shade called Reveal. Um, sorry, not Reveal. Spill it. And then we're going to start to just blend out the liner from the inner and outer corner only. Um, the one that's really close to the lash line, we're going to go ahead and just ignore that. Uh, for mascara, I'm going to go into the Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced. And for lashes, I am using something new today. This is from Luxurious Studios. Uh, I'm using their Lash Glue, which is vegan. It's also um, latex-free. And then these um, lashes that are called Dream. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just run the glue, let them dry for a few seconds before we do apply them. Um, so while these are drying, we're going to start to focus towards our lower lash line. Um, I'm going to go back into the shade called Spill It in that same Morphe S20, start to blend out in the outer corner and try to attach it to the top so that way everything looks cohesive and it looks, um, you know, like it blends in together. Um, and then start to apply your lashes before they do dry. <laughs> um, and now I'm going to go and do the other eye off camera and start to focus towards the lower lash line once again. Now, I'm really smoking my lower lash line. You definitely don't have to go as low as I am. Always keep that in mind. Some people don't like it because they feel like it looks muddy. But for me, personally, I just love how smoky it looks. So I'm going to leave that one up to you guys. Um, and then I'm just going to go back into that shade called um, Candid and start to smoke it out again. Um, and as you guys see, I'm using the same colors that we use on the crease to blend out the lower lash line. And then I'm just going to go back in to the Demolition um, Brown Pencil from Urban Decay and apply this in my waterline. And then I will smudge it towards the lower lashes only. Um, and then I'm going to switch to my Sedona Lace EB21 brush, a more small, precise, detail brush. And I'm going to be going back into that dark brown called Spill It and then just blend out the liner so that everything looks smoky just the way that I like it. <laughs> To highlight my inner corner, I'm going to go into my Sigma E30, a small um, pencil brush, and I'm going into the shade called an, what is it called? Unveiled. <laughs> it's a nice shimmery pale peach color, and I think it's absolutely stunning. It really makes my inner corner look really bright and alive. And I'm just taking a fluffy brush that I got from one of my BoxyCharm boxes just to blend out the powder that we had underneath um, and then set the rest of our face so that everything looks matte. Um, and then I'm going to my Too Faced, um, their foundation powder, I believe. And I'm using a, oh, it's a Morphe brush, but I don't remember the number on the top of my head. I will link it down below if you guys are interested. But I'm just going to apply some powder to take an extra step to set my under eye. I just love doing this because I feel like it photographs really nice and it looks really airbrushed. Um, going into Dama Divina, this Be Bella highlighter in collab with Jenny Vivera. And of course, using my Artist Couture AC03 highlighter brush, I will link a dupe from morphe down below for you guys 
um, because unfortunately the artist with tour they're not um, selling their brushes just yet hopefully they will one day <laughs> now it's time for lips I'm gonna go into the shade called Linda it's a morphe lip pencil um, and I'm just gonna go ahead and start to line my lips now I decided to go into a red because um, I did get the PR package from um, the glam fam by morphe um, and they sent over a red lipstick that I definitely wanted to give it a try um, and I haven't worn a red lipstick like this any hot minute, I think. I mean, we're not going anywhere. We're just going to sit at home, take some pictures, some selfies for Instagram. Uh, but I just love a red lipstick, especially like having like a nude lid or something like less bronzier. Oh, it just looks so beautiful um, and classy. I also, with red, sometimes it can get really messy and tricky. Um, so I'm just going back into that small little concealer detail brush by Morphe and taking my foundation that I wore today um, to clean up any mistakes that I've made. I like going into foundation versus with concealer because once you do blend it out, um, it's the same color as your base. Versus with a brighter concealer, it can look really harsh and really white in pictures, so that's why I like to go into foundation. Um, so here we go, the lipstick from Morphe in the shade called Steamy. It's a matte um, lipstick, um, and the color is true to its color. It's really gorgeous. It's red. Um, it definitely reminds me of like Snow White red. Um, super beautiful and stunning. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just pat the lipstick onto my lips. With red lipstick, I normally do like to take my time because it can get really, really messy and scary at the same time. But that's why it's a, a good um, thing to wear a lip liner first. So that way, um, once you go in with lipstick, you have, you know, more control to apply it and it's less messy. Now, of course, I'm going to go into my finger again to pat down and melt the lipstick into my lips to make it look more matte and it will last a little bit longer. Um, but this color is beautiful. And then to set my face, of course, my matte setting spray by Morphe. Um, and I almost forgot, you guys, I didn't apply blush. So I'm going to go into my Benefit Dandelion Blush using my Sigma F10 Blush Brush to apply it. All right, honeys, and that's pretty much it for today's video on this. I'm, I, I don't know what I'm going to call it yet, like Latina makeup. I don't know. I'm feeling very Latina, like, like telenovela with my crimped up hair, red lipstick, and dark eyes. I feel like I look like a villain from a telenovela. <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoyed today's eyeshadow tutorial. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe before you do leave my channel today. And just know that I love you guys so much. Besitos, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.